Let's dive into this definition from Zendesk on tech sales. Tech sales is the process of selling technology as software, hardware, or an IT service. Now, let's talk about what that means so that we can make some sense of it. So basically, when you're looking at what tech sales is, it's primarily in the area of what's known as B2B sales or business to business, different than B2C. B2C is business to consumer. Typically, that would be car sales or real estate as an example. You're selling a product or a service to a consumer, an individual who is basically purchasing that out of whatever personal reason that they're purchasing it for. In tech sales, it's in large a business selling to a, another business. So it's really more revolving around consultation, so to speak. You're basically selling a service or a product to a business that will benefit them, maybe save them time, maybe save them money, or maybe make them more money or even substantially more money. So that's what my wife and I, we do that day to day. We do that all from being at home, right? So my wife, she takes over either our room or she works in kind of like our kitchen area or dining room area. And I have taken over the closet of our nine month old's room. Hey, go figure. But you can make a pretty good living doing that and you can do that all remotely from home. So getting into this definition. So with tech sales, it typically works more so from two positions, so to speak, right? So we'll make that simple. From an SDR to what's known as an AE or sales development rep to account executive. Now, when you see the words BDR or the term BDR, business development rep, okay, or LDR, lead development rep, those are typically interchangeable terms for sales development rep. The sales development rep is the one who generates the initial leads, for a company, meaning this company, they have this product or service that they are able to offer. And the SDR goes out and finds those potential clients. And once the SDR actually finds those potential clients, then they'll go through this type of qualifying process. So they basically, they reach out to them, they call them, they email them, they write them on LinkedIn, whatever it is. Once the person who they're reaching out to has been identified as someone where this service or product would benefit them, then that SDR then passes that information on to the account executive. And the account executive goes deeper into the consultation mode and basically identify the proper solution. And then from there, the account executive closes the actual sale. So technology sales obviously is extremely huge. It's not going anywhere. And more than likely, it's probably going to increase. If you are interested in getting into technology sales and you want to actually ask a real person, my wife and I are actually going to be opening up uh, rooms, pro probably something on Zoom or something like that. The link is going to be in the description by the time this video uploads. And we will have specific days where we'll open up this room where we will actually jump on live chats with you. You can jump into the room, access whatever you like, and we will look to answer those questions with transparency and from a standpoint of what we have experienced in our own life. The route that my wife and I took to get into technology sales specifically is the course course careers. And yes, we are currently affiliates with course careers. We believe in course careers. It worked for us. I completed the actual course. I received a certificate uh, from them. My wife actually never completed the course. She was able to get a job even prior to completing. And they also offer a digital marketing course as well as a information technology course. So I will see some of you in that live Zoom chat room in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give us a like, hit that subscribe and have a wonderful day.